Sussex bat out rain-affected day to get their noses in front in Bristol. Inclement weather on day two meant a delayed start was required in this contest. Sussex had finished the first day in the ascendancy, Salt and Wells at the crease, unbeaten on 73 for naught. The bowlers had put Sussex in charge, the experienced Chris Jordan picking up three to help his side restrict their hosts to 200. And when play did resume, with the morning rain having moved on, the Sussex batsmen picked up where they left off, finding the boundary regularly and reaching 100 unbeaten. But Gloucestershire would find their first breakthrough, as the visitors reached three figures. Payne, the man to extricate Salt, caught by Bracey to depart for 64. But they'd be unable to build on that momentum, as bad light stopped play. When they did return, there was just 35 minutes until lunch, but Haynes would fall just before lunch, the catch at first slip quite brilliant from Bracey. They'd reached lunch 39 runs in arrears, a good session for the visitors despite losing Salt and Haynes early on. Payne would find a breakthrough as play resumed, Wells removed for 42, a third catch for Bracey. Delray Rawlins handed Payne another wicket, looking to hook the Gloucestershire bowler, only to top edge a catch to Roderick behind the stumps. Bad light would see an early tee taken, conditions gloomy in Bristol. They'd find their way back on as the light improved, and Sussex batted their way to 200, surpassing their hosts' total as Van Zyl and Brown enjoyed a 44-run fifth wicket partnership. It'd be Van Zyl who'd go, LBW to Matt Taylor for 28. They'd once again be forced off due to poor light, but make it back on with 17 scheduled overs left to play. Brown's innings would come to an end at the hands of Ben Charlesworth. He'd have another soon after, Chris Jordan caught behind for six. Will Beer would do well not to follow his colleagues and stuck in to see Sussex pass 300. Stumps would be called at 313 for seven, the visitors lead 113 with three wickets in hand. Payne's bowling had kept Gloucestershire in contention in this match. Just when Sussex had started to seem settled, he'd strike. But the South Coast side will be more than happy with their day's work, knowing they have plenty of time to put their hosts under pressure, not just with the bat, but with the ball.